Hi, welcome to biology classes with Lakshmi Chandra. As promised, in this session, I'll take you towards the gene regulation that is lac operon and how it is getting switched on and switched off. Let's have a quick recap about the structure of lac operon first. You know, lac operon, as any other operon, it is having three structural genes here. They are the Z gene, the Y gene and the A gene which produces their respective mRNA and then the enzymes. And these genes, their expression is regulated by an operator, a promoter and a regulatory gene which is denoted as I gene. I gene. Now here, we should know about this I gene because that is the gene which is doing regulation, the I gene. Regulatory gene. In any operon, this I gene can act as either as an inhibitor or it can act as an inducer. That means the I gene can either produce some components which can switch off the gene that is acting as an inhibitor or it can produce something so that it is switching on the gene that is it is acting like an inducer. In the case of lacoperon, this I gene is acting as an inhibitor. That means it is producing something because of which the expression of the gene is getting switched off. Now what is that thing that it is producing? It is producing a, a repressor protein. In the case of lacoperon, this I gene, it produces a repressor protein. A repressor protein. So let me just mark it here. This I gene, it will it is producing first a repressor mRNA. You know, from mRNA only proteins are getting produced. It is producing a repressor mRNA, and from this repressor mRNA, a repressor protein is getting produced. A repressor protein is getting produced. Now I told you here it is acting as an inhibitor. Now why what does this repressor protein do? This repressor protein it goes and binds to the operator region. Okay now this is a repressor protein and this repressor protein goes and binds to operator. This is repressor. This is repressor protein. This is repressor mRNA. This goes and binds to operator. Repressor protein is having a high affinity towards operator. Now then what happens? You know, in the promoter region, in the promoter region, always a particular enzyme comes and binds. Only then transcription begins. That we have learned in the session where I have dealt with transcription. You know that enzyme is RNA polymerase. Only if RNA polymerase, RNA polymerase binds to promoter and then it moves forward towards these structural genes. Only then these structural genes can produce their mRNAs. But here, even though RNA polymerase is bound to promoter, this RNA polymerase cannot move forward towards these structural genes. Why? Because its pathway is blocked by the repressor which is occupying the operator just adjacent to the promoter. So this repressor protein which is present here is not allowing the RNA polymerase to travel forward and to produce the mRNA. So Will these ZYA genes be able to produce its mRNA here? No. 
it is not able to produce the respective mrna so if mrna is not produced it cannot produce the respective proteins the respective proteins in this case it is the enzymes it cannot produce the enzymes that means the gene expression is now switched off the gene expression is now switched off now what to do if i want to switch it on i have to have one inducer but as i have told you in the case of lacoperon this i gene which is regulating is only producing an inhibitor it is not producing an inducer in the case of lacoperon then which molecule acts as an inducer here lactose itself acts as an inducer this is the speciality of lacoperon lactose itself acts as the inducer in the case of lacoperon as i have told you before in the case of lacoperon lactose is getting converted to glucose and galactose for lactose to be converted to glucose and galactose the z y and a gene have to produce the mrna and they have to produce the enzymes only if all those three enzymes are here enzyme 1 2 3 only then lactose will be converted to glucose and galactose that means metabolism of lactose will occur so in this case lactose itself acts as an inducer that means if lactose is present in this medium then lactose i am just putting a symbol like this okay this lactose will go and bind to the repressor either here or the repressor which is bound to the operator the lactose will go and bind to the repressor so the lactose will go and bind to the repressor and so what will happen to the repressor the repressor will undergo a change in its shape or i can say the repressor undergoes a conformational change and when lactose is bound to the repressor and the repressor is undergoing a change in its shape the repressor can no more occupy the operator region and so the operator region is free now what happens you have this repressor coming out because to that lactose is bound and so what happens this region is now free here there is no repressor nothing this region is free now since this region is free of repressor there is nobody to repress here rna polymerase which was here now it can move forward rna polymerase can move forward and as the rna polymerase moves forward it can produce the corresponding mrna and as the mrna is getting produced it can produce the three enzymes which are those three enzymes that it is producing it can produce beta galactosidase enzyme it can produce permease it can also produce trans acetylase these are the three enzymes which are produced so now you can see the gene is getting switched on so once again let me just uh, draw in adjacent sites that the gene is getting switched on and getting switched off so that you will understand it very well always remember in the case of lacoperon lactose itself acts as an inducer so in the first case if lactose is the only carbon source lactose is the only carbon source that means glucose galactose nothing else is there to the 
bacteria i am giving only lactose so the bacteria has to take in lactose and break it down otherwise it will not get energy so if lactose is the only carbon source in that case what happens the operon has to be switched on the operon has to be switched on that means zy a genes have to produce their mrna so the operator should be free the promoter should be should have the promoter should have the rna polymerase bound here so rna polymerase is here operator region is free so rna polymerase can move forward it is producing the corresponding mrna and this mrna is producing all the three enzymes now in the second case instead of lactose i am giving glucose glucose is there in the medium or i am giving glucose plus lactose both are there in the medium this is the third case okay glucose is there alone or glucose and lactose is there so again if glucose is there bacteria will take only glucose it will not take it will not consider lactose for example if you have if say suppose you are presented with two food materials one which you love very much another one which you hate the most so naturally you will go to to that one plate only which you love the most same way e coli loves glucose than lactose so if both are given e coli will go only for glucose so it doesn't want lactose in that case so if it doesn't want lactose means the gene has to be switched off isn't it gene has to be switched off so here the gene is getting switched on and in this case the gene has to be switched off so if the gene has to be switched off here means you have the structural genes it has to be switched off means this should not produce its mrna that means the operator region should be blocked should be blocked and who is blocking that operator region it is blocked by the repressor protein and who is producing the repressor protein it is produced by the regulatory gene isn't it so here the regulatory gene will produce the regulatory mrna it will produce a repressor protein this repressor protein will bind to operator so in this promoter if you have the rna polymerase it cannot move forward and there is no mrna or no proteins or enzymes produced so the gene is now switched off so i hope lac operon is very clear to you and these conditions the first second and third conditions that i provided here is very important you have to keep this in mind so that uh, my viewers can very well answer competitive exams if you have any doubts feel free to ask thank you all